is it just me or does like a good red lip even make your teeth look whiter like oh my gosh so i don't know if you're familiar with fine natural hair rocks or if you're just jumping on this video because hello gwen stefani the give line that is exciting it drops at midnight midnight yesterday i literally jumped on the purchase immediately and i was able to snag some goodies i'm gonna go ahead and unbox these on camera i'm also going to do a first impressions and a try on review so if that's something you're interested in then definitely keep on watching this is the original me high performance matte lipstick the anaheim shine high performance satin lipstick and then I'm gonna go in and try on the ultra fine brow pencil. I'm really feeling the packaging. Um, the packaging is highly recyclable. Um, they clearly are environmental friendly, which is fantastic. When I saw this line, I was really excited to give it a try because I've been a fan of Gwen Stefani's look for years. I love the fact that she always has that bright, bold, red lip, and it is absolutely stunning. So the fact that she came out with her own lipstick, girlfriend, like I literally, I had to try it out. I just had so to try it out. The eyebrows that I have on right now are actually, and from Annabelle. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off so that we can go ahead and apply the brow pencil from Gwen Stefani's line. Now I've got Fine Natural Hair here on Fine Natural Hair Rocks. We talk about natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle. Because I have Fine Natural Hair, I thought that this would be a really good buy because you wanna be using, at least for me anyways, I wanna be using a fine brush for my actual uh, eyebrows. The packaging is gorgeous. Do you guys see that? It's got the give on the front. I love gold. So this is super sleek. I'm totally feeling the packaging so far. So let's go ahead and open this on up. The spoolie is on this side. It seems, and then I guess on the other side is the actual product itself, the actual head of the eyebrow pencil. The actual head of the pencil is very smooth. It doesn't feel like, I, I feel like I could barely feel it. And it is giving a nice light stroke. So the colors come in numbers and mine is number six. I recently got my eyebrows done. This eyebrow was actually not done as well as the other one. It is a little misshapen, so this is perfect because we're gonna see exactly if this can kind of help figure things out. So far, so good. I really like the way it looks. I am just gonna go ahead and continue adding this to my, my brows. So in case you're wondering, this eyebrow pencil retails for $31, which is pretty on the expensive side, especially compared to my Annabelle um, that I've been using for years, which is just a drugstore brand. Um, but I mean, in terms of like the sleekness of the packaging and the fact that you could barely feel the pencil, I think is testament of like the higher quality. If you're new to Fine Natural Hair Rocks, you should know that I post new videos usually every single, I wanna say Sundays. I think it's nice, I think it's nice. I mean, is it giving me something that's above and beyond my Annabelle? Mm, not really. If you think so, let me know. Comment to me whether or not you think that this eyebrow looks similar or different than the other eyebrow that I had at the beginning of the video. I would love to know because honestly, like I just, I don't know. So which one do you want to go through first? Do you want to see the matte red or do you want to see the satin red? I think I actually want to see the satin red first because I feel like I know how I feel about the matte red. I'm actually going to go ahead and take off this lipstick and then we're going to go ahead with the red lip. This is the star of the show. Like honestly, I'm super excited for this part. Let's go ahead and start with whatever I touch first. So we're going to go with the matte first. I thought we were going to go with the satin but fate would have it any other way oh that's cute that's so Gwen do you see that all right so it's all out that that kind of like red bandana detailing definitely super Gwen Stefani it goes right into the bottom of the box I thought that was kind of cool this is very pretty I like that Ooh, so I'm smelling it it smells like some type of a perfume like a very floral type of perfume it's very nice so that's how it looks. It's very pretty. I'm gonna just bring it all the way to the top. So right now it's giving velvet. It's giving true blue red. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That is pretty. I 
like that. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is super pretty. I really, really, really like this. I feel like I need a liner though. So let's go ahead and let's add the liner to it and see if it's really popping or if it's gonna pop even more. That is very pretty. I love this so much. I love a good matte lip. Like I haven't been wearing reds in a while. Like I just feel like <sighs> I've been missing out. I've been missing out. What do you think? Do you like the way this is looking? Do you think it looks as good just without the, the red lip pencil or with the red lip pencil? Like definitely let me know. Um, Cause I'm interested in your thoughts. I don't know if I told you this already, but this retails for $34. So it is a little bit more expensive than the eyebrow pencil. So yeah, this is a winner. I am feeling this lipstick. Of course, again, this is original me, the original recipe. Shouldn't be hard to find. Um, again, the links are in the description. So but final thoughts before I take this off, this is a true blue red. Like if you're looking for a true matte red and you want something that's a little bit more moisturizing than even, you know, the cult favorite matte Ruby Woo, this is good. Like I've been wearing it for a little bit now and it does feel a little bit more moisturizing than most mattes. So for that reason, I think it's actually worth the $34, which is more expensive than of course, something like Ruby Woo. But um, no, this is winning. This is winning. I don't even want to take it off. Like it's that nice. <laughs> and yeah, there's the satin finish one, which we're going to try together. So let me take off these lips and let's jump into the satin color. Very similar in terms of the actual color. Uh, mine is a little, okay. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but mine came to me uh, with like lipstick stains on the side. So that's not cool. That's not cute. I don't know why that happened but the head of the lipstick seems to be fine. So I don't think that the lipstick was actually used before because that would be disgusting. So not used, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my lips. I'm gonna try again without um, a lip liner to see if this is gonna work for me. So let's go ahead and try this out. Definitely more of a satin finish than um, the first lipstick. trying to get rid of the color from my Cupid's bow. <laughs> Ooh. I like. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's really nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I thought I was gonna like the matte one more than the satin finish one, but y'all, like, this is really nice. And you know what I like about this one? I don't feel like I need a lip pencil as much as I needed a lip pencil before. Which one do you like more? Do you like the matte color or do you like this one right now, the satin finish? $34 as well. So the matte lipstick and the, and the satin finish lipstick, they're both $34. It's really nice though. Like, okay, so final thoughts. I'm gonna keep this on because I like it that much. The packaging for the satin one didn't come as clean as I would have liked it in as perfect condition as I would have, as I would have liked, but whatever, you know, things happen. So um, I really like the satin, definitely worth the $34. I also really like the mattified finish. The eyebrow pencil, I mean, it's okay. Like it wasn't giving me anything amazing. Like I don't feel like I have to have the eyebrow pencil. I feel like it's just okay, you know? So for $31, like I would want something more than just okay. The packaging is gorgeous. If you're somebody who cares about packaging, you really like your packaging to look beautiful, then yeah, I think you'd really appreciate the eyebrow pencil. But for me, like I don't really care about the packaging of the eyebrow pencil itself that much. Um, I more care about like, you know, saving my dollars where I can. So I don't think that this is necessarily a buy for 31. Like it's not a, it's not a good buy at $31. Did you like this video? If you liked this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also hit up the notification bell button as well too, so that you never ever miss another video from Fine Natural Hair Rocks. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in even more beauty videos from me, Lavinia, here on Fine Natural Hair Rocks, then definitely go ahead and click this card right here to be taken over to some more uh, Sephora haul, Sephora type review videos. If you wanna remain connected all the time 
on YouTube and off YouTube, you can definitely also hit up my newsletter, which the link is going to be right here so that you can receive this type of content directly to your inbox. Thank you so much for watching, girlfriend. I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.